and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Sarah Carlos. I usually create gaming content with tech and PC stuff, and every now and then I do anime reactions. Fun fact, this is actually the very first anime I reacted to in my channel, Attack on Titan. It seems, you know, such a long time ago, but now we're here. We are at the rumbling. So last week, the rumbling started, and I did voice out my opinion that, you know, I don't feel bad. I mean, I, I kind of see what, why, you know, it happened, but I think my number one thing from last week is that I just really, really, really felt bad for Emir, and I'm so happy that Aaron kind of showed Emir um, love and respect and just, you know, respected her as a person because, oh my gosh, Emir's entire freaking life, she was a slave. And it never dawned on me that the king also cut off her tongue because I don't think they showed in the episode, but apparently it was in the manga. So what the heck? It means that she never really had a say literally in whatever she had to do and you know i just i just feel for her i feel bad for her and i i, I wish i could have hugged her as well like Aaron did but with the rumbling you know i did i remember saying at the very start of this season that all the ed all the aliens should just gather up together and fight everyone who was ever mean to them and that aged well because that's exactly what happened <laughs> but anyway um but thinking about the rumbling again you guys actually put it into perspective when you commented that Aaron, because Aaron started the rumbling Aaron will kill around 1.6 billion people on the planet not only that he'd also kill the aliens who are not on the island which actually defeats the purpose of him starting the rumbling <laughs> But, you know, I'm excited to see this episode because I want to see how, how MAPPA animated this or what they kept, what they, you know, I just want to see it. So, without further ado, let's get started with Attack on Titan. Rumbling, rumbling is coming. This is freaking epic, dude. thought she saved the world by killing Eren. Can't believe Oh my gosh! I love this scene. Someone made a meme that Eren basically said at everyone in Discord. <laughs> I love it though. Oh, Historia. Dude, I have such a huge crush on Armin, I swear! I, I love him. I love, I love him. And Rainier. And Eren. Not sure about Zeke. <laughs> I actually did this um, hairstyle in honor of Aaron, FYI. Dude, this is, okay, this is my favorite part. This is my favorite part. I think I already said that last week, but I just want to say it again. Can you guys see that? Rainier's face. Oh, he's so handsome. Oh my gosh, this is it, the rumbling. Oh my God, wait, yes. I'm excited for this scene where basically everyone's just looking up at the Titans. I wonder how dark, morbid, and just downright sad that scene is gonna be. Knowing Mappa, I bet they'll deliver. Uh oh. These are the ones outside of the island. <laughs> Oh yeah, Annie is still in the... Oh, 
ちゃんとコニーだろう。おー、バックがっていけん。重要な存在よ。ほっとくわけがない。ココナッツの巨人を。放っておくわけが。ライダー。ライダー。残せないの。なぜか鎧が剥がれ。壁の破片をまともに受けてしまった。ね。Technically, Gabby did kind of destroy the world because she killed Eren and then Eren. But then I think that was inevitable. It was about to happen. Whether or not Gabby did that. How can they get there faster than the giant titans that are on their way? Gabby has a point. What will telling them do? Oh, yeah, because I didn't use I'm on the edge of my seat for this entire episode. I'm excited. Basically, prove them right. Minagoroshinishiotoしたばかりに。つまりこれは外の連中が真似た結果であって、俺たちにはどうすることもできない。Moral of the story: Don't be racist, I guess, because it's the race. The elegance are a race. Yes, it's genocide. Aaron really loves his family. We're the most important thing. Oh, it's kind of sweet with that flashback. 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 Oh, shit. Don't. Pixie Everyone has their own invested interest in this. Yes. Dude. 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 Dude, I can kind of... I, I feel for Connie, though. If my dad became a titan, I'd steal Falco and feed him to my dad. <laughs> Big boys. Literally. <laughs> oh, yeah, where is Zeke? He's not dead yet, right? Oh, 
Kaya, kaya. Kaya mo yan. Sorry, that's a bad joke at bad time. <laughs> and it's a Filipino joke. Oh, yeah! Dude, I freaking love this episode. There's like so much, so many realizations. We made it this far as you. <gasps> May you rest in peace. That's so sweet. Now that I think about it. Oh, that's nice. Ah, uh, uh, they call it the daydream. Genius. I see you, Jean. I see you. 
Okay, let's hear this guy out and feel like he's about to have his moment or not. Oh. Wait, I thought they were on the same side. Okay. Ma'am, that's not gonna happen. I don't think that's gonna happen that easily. Oh, did they kill Falco already? They didn't show it. <gasps> Connie took the fa- Oh my god! Yeah, I mean, can't they go back to being normal? I think Joke. Because it's such a fucking good episode, y'all. It is such a good episode. I love it so much. Who's... Oh. Y'all are sleeping? Was it good? Was it good? Good episode, Billy? Yes, it was a good episode. And oh my gosh, the soundtrack! Ugh, it makes sense now, the devil and me. I thought it was just for Aaron because Aaron is in it, but... Because it's like... Sasha's family is so nice to Gabby, even though Gabby took the older sister. Ano ba? Even though Gabby took Sasha, and like to just see Gabby turn over a new leaf. And you know what? Oh wait, you know what? That's that's. I wanna listen. Oh my god, Annie's dad is gonna die. Oh, no. I cannot. Because wasn't Annie close with her dad? Okay. A lot to unpack here. First of all, <sighs> Devil in Me, that whole scene, that whole realization. I thought it was just for Aaron because of the whole ending scene where it was just literally Aaron but they basically said how every single one of us has our own devil inside and you know it it makes sense it makes sense even with everything that I've learned in my life right now we all do have our demons and we all just have to learn how to accept them and learn how to even manage them or basically to kill them off of our system but Oh my gosh, it's like Sasha's family, Kaya forgiving Gabby. What a moment. Like, it's just, it's, we'd love to see it. I love it. I love Gabby's complete 180 with her character because I did tweet before how I was pissed with her. But at the end of the day, whenever I reflect about it, Gabby is a kid. Gabby was brainwashed by the military, she was a child soldier. Yes, I hate her, but also it's like, um, do I want to, you know, be patient with her because she's a kid and I feel like it's paying off. <laughs> I remember seeing this one comment, like the entire AOT fandom really agreeing on one thing and banning up again one thing and that's a young girl. <laughs> and it's so true because even I was 
freaking pissed with her. But this is honestly, this episode, I it just really hits me on a whole different level. It's um Gene with his moment, him realizing that him perfectly describing Aaron's side of the situation where he would do anything to protect his loved ones. And it makes you think, you would want to have Aaron on your side. But at the end of the day, if you are a good friend to Aaron, wouldn't you also want to talk to Aaron and be like, you know, like in real life, if you love your friend, wouldn't you also be real or honest enough with them to tell them if what they're doing is wrong? So, yeah. Um... Also, was there a scene where it was Historia in the ODM gear? Because it seemed like it. It looked like her, but I wasn't so sure. Uh, that scene as well where they had to kill Commander Pixies, Armin saying, may you rest in peace. Uh, I love it. It's just the respect that they have for their elders. It's great. I thought Flock would have a moment, but I was really surprised that Flock put the gun on Yelena's head. Does that mean there's actually a conflict within their own team as well? But you know what? Ah, I'm excited again. I'm excited for next week. It's gonna be amazing. I thought they would pan more on what the rumbling would look like on the outside of the island, but it seemed like they focused more on what was going on within the walls and how everyone is adapting, especially with them going out. But you know what? I wish I had my my baby Rainier had more screen time, but just him seeing him on the bed taking a nap that was so cute for me. I really love it. But you know, I could go on and on about this episode, but I feel like I've talked about everything that really stuck out to me, <laughs> and I really love this episode. It's I'd say it's probably my favorite, but yeah. As always, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, hit that subscribe button, and let me know if this is in your top five as well, because for me, it definitely is. How can I have a top five episode? This entire series is amazing. Anyway, forget I said that. Um, as always, I'll see you guys next week. Matane!